Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a really special one uh, for you once again. We're gonna have my friend Matthew tell us about his car. Now, just a fun fact before we get into this. This is the only 21 year old I know who drives a Lincoln car this clean and also who plays the organ at our church. So I'm gonna give him the mic and he'll walk us around and introduce us to his car. All right, so this is a 2008 Lincoln Town Car Signature L. Of course, the L meaning the extended wheelbase, the extra six inches in the back. The car was used for a livery service, limousine service for pretty much all its life, I believe, up until I believe I'm the first private owner of the car. Uh, it's been kept, as you can see, immaculate since I bought it. I promised the uh, dealership. He told me to make sure I take great care of the car. I told him I would, and I believe I kept that promise. A lot of the chrome you see in the car I added on later. When I bought the car, it was a lot of uh, stock black. I wanted to give the car a little more character, true to what Lincoln uh, is all about. The emblems you see on the back leather of the car by the back doors was added on later. Uh, when I bought the car, they had actually taken them off prior to me buying it, so I found ones that I thought looked nice. Of course, they're peeling a little bit. That's what you get when you get Amazon stickers, but it is what it is. It looks good either way. The flag holsters I also added on just to add a little more class to the car. I love it. A lot of these Lincoln badges I also added on myself just to, like I said, add a little more character to the car. Um, as you can see, I didn't change too much in terms of the initial appearance, aside from adding a lot of a lot more maybe chrome, but I didn't want to go too too crazy with the chrome and you know make the car look too uh, the word escapes my mind right now. But about the headlights I did replace. They are halo lights, but they're not on right now. Maybe you'll see them later. Other than that, the car is pretty much still stock. Nothing special. I did with the engine, everything's pretty pretty in order. How long have you had the car, Matt? I've had the car for about two years now. I bought it back in 2020, right before COVID shut everything down, so I got really lucky with that. My senior year of high school, I bought it in, I want to say, March or February of 2020, so we're going up on two years now. What made you buy a Lincoln instead of a Toyota Camry or a Honda Civic? <laughs> Growing up, my grandparents had a Lincoln Town Car, and I, I grew up riding the church with them in that, and I fell in love with the, the Lincoln ever since, and I, I told myself I'd either have the one my grandparents had or I'd get my own, and I got my own. That came first, so this is actually my second Town Car. I had a 2003, which I gave to my friend, uh, because I it, it wasn't the extended wheelbase. I wanted the extended wheelbase, so when I found this one, I had to jump all over it. So this is uh, my second Lincoln Town Car, and my pride and joy. Old vinyl roof or leather wrap is in really good condition. Yeah, I'm, like I said, it was kept in great condition when I bought it. Uh, there's, of course, every old car has its uh, uh, little dings and dents here and there, but I'm very happy with the condition of the leather roof because that's a very expensive fix if it wasn't. What is one thing that you say you hate about the car or strongly dislike? The only thing I would say right now is when we, if we go inside the car later, the uh, head, headliner's sagging in the back a lot. So uh, I'm gonna get that fixed re uh, soon, hopefully. But that's probably the only thing that really bothers me about this car right now. What do you th friends say about uh, you as a 21 driving a pretty much a limo style of car? Well, my friends knowing me, they said that's a U car when they found out I was gonna buy it. Uh, they love riding in the back of it. it, makes them feel special, as they say. They said the back seat's very comfortable. A lot of people say that it's like uh, driving down a couch, driving down the highway in a couch, and I agree. I had the air suspension replaced about a year ago, so it's not spring, it's, it's brand new air suspension, brand new brakes and rotors. Uh, it was a bit pricey, but it was totally worth it because I was not willing to go to spring suspension just yet. Yeah, that's actually the uh, the toy I grew up playing with, the Lincoln Town Car Limousine. And I found it recently, I said, nope, it's going on my dashboard. <laughs> I went from playing with one to driving one. Now these wheels, are they stock? Are they, did you do anything to get them refinished? They are stock. They just clean up very well when I polish them. Yeah, these, are these are running at 225 60R17s. Stock looking wheels. Nice, okay. Uh, from now on, I mean, from here, we're going to go ahead and dive under the hood to see what goodies Matt has under there. We'll take a look at the trunk and then we'll jump, I think, the star of the show, the interior of this amazing car. 
Okay, if you want to pop your trunk mat. Pop your trunk while you're at it too. Yeah, we'll get both of them. What's, uh, what's going on back here? I have a bunch of cleaning towels that I keep in here. I actually just took my cleaning chemicals out today because I don't want them to freeze and explode with the uh, colder weather coming in. So I'm gonna keep them inside now whenever I need to keep the car clean. Uh, I have snow stuff ready to go. I have replaceable flags in the bag right there, jumper cables. And then of course we live in New Jersey so we have reusable shopping bags that I have to keep in the trunk. That's right, and the weather is getting chilly. It is windy and cold today. Yeah, I like these covers here. Yeah, that's the uh, spare tire, the donut. Oh, look at that. I didn't know that. I've had to use that twice already. On my Mercury, it's up there. You can see some of the cars keep it here. But this guy is hiding behind me. It's a little cover. Okay. Very clean trunk, Matt. Yeah, I, like I said, I take pride in keeping this car as clean as possible. You got a little cubby here. Oh, and it has a light. My Mercury is lacking. <laughs> you got your uh, suspension here, or the airbag suspension, and the fuel cutoff. Nice. All right. Uh, what does this trunk do? It has that mechanism? Go it has shut it. Yep, an automatic closer on it, which is my favorite piece as well. Oh, look at that. Man, that's cool. You got to get me one of those for the Mercury. Yeah, <laughs> my grandmother. She has an 03. She was definitely jealous when she saw my town car had that and hers didn't. Okay, let's pop the hood and you can tell us anything about what's been done to it, um, how it rides. So not much has been done to the engine. Uh, I have had the radiator replaced. I have had some, when I first bought it, my first summer driving it, the spark plugs popped on it, so those had to get replaced. Uh, air filter, of course, is general maintenance. I refilled the wash basin with de-icer because uh, these icy mornings are really, really starting Oil to get... Oil change, you know, belts, all that good stuff, right? Oil change coming up in January, so I still have a good month to go on that. New battery was replaced about last year. Uh, other than that, not much has been done to the engine. Everything's still as it was when it was installed. You got these flags. I'm thinking about getting some of these maybe for the 4th of July. Oh, yeah. The funny part is I bought these off a uh, website dedicated to funeral home services. <laughs> <laughs> This gives it a really cool touch. Oh, they're definitely well worth the uh, the buy. And you can actually have any sort of custom flags made from any website, so that's the best part. Nice. Okay, so the engine looks pretty stock. How many miles on this bad boy? Uh, about 380 to 381,000 miles. 381? Yes, sir. Oh, wow. We're also going to have Matt give us a ride in the back seat of this. <laughs> Just go down the block or around the block. Man, you can see the grill is in perfect condition. This car, I remember pulling into the, our church. This is our church parking lot. And I remember seeing this. And I was like, wow, who drives this? Must be the pastor. <laughs> Turns out it's a 21-year-old uh, organ player. Um, all right. So we got that figured out. We got all the exterior. And this, is this leather or vinyl? I believe it's a type of leather. Man, look how good. What year you said was this? 2008. 2008. 380,000 miles. Look at this roof. Man, not even a single crack. Oh, no, don't worry about that. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. I'll have to just go back on Amazon and <laughs> grab you another one. Okay, very well kept. Look at that shine. Let's see the sky said glass. All right, uh, let's go jump in the front seat and you can tell us about the interior and what you've done. So I've done a lot more work on the inside. I've had uh, recently, the most recent work done was the custom floor mats that I installed. They ran me about probably 300 because I had the emblem of Lincoln added in the, by the center console. And the, uh, the color threading is it's black and tan. So, you know, they charge for all these little extra updates here and there. But I like I said, it was well worth it. They're very, they're water resistant. So if any water gets in the car or someone spills a drink, it won't seep through. They're supposed to be very uh, cut proof, but I have not put that to the test because I don't want to find out. Oh, that gives it a really cool touch. Okay, so we got this. Tell us about this door and what all the buttons do. So that's the center console. If you press that button, it flips open. I think I really just keep the registration and stuff in there so it's easily accessible should I ever get pulled over for any reason. 
Uh, there's not much to say about the door, just the other general controls. The lock, the mirrors, the heated seats. And one thing I love about this car is the back seats actually are heated seats as well, which is something that my 03 lacked. When uh, you're going to give me a ride, I will test that feature out. <laughs> Now we'll get in here and do you have your key? Can we yes. pop it? Okay, just gonna straighten the steering wheel. The odometer said 372,000 miles. 72,000, all right. And uh, you're getting 18.8 .8 miles per gallon on the average. <laughs> it's my daily, it's, well, it's my only. <laughs> okay, what's up with all this other little? So the pillows all came as a set off of Amazon as well. They're by a, a company that mainly produces luxury car items. A lot of the old badges I had in the car before I replaced them with the new ones were also from the same company. But the pillows, I love them. Uh, my friends love them. They're pretty comfortable, surprisingly, for more of make, make for show pillows, but they definitely add a lot of character to the car and the interior as well. They definitely add a nice touch. Okay. Center clutch. Man, this is big. Okay, we've got extra cup holders. Oh, or is this part of the car? This is part of the car. Yep, part of the console. Oh my goodness. That's an extra seat that I don't really use. I keep it uh, open the whole time. But uh, should I ever have to have someone up front with me, three people, uh, as long as a smaller person can fit in the middle seat right there. And one thing that uh, apparently surprised a lot of people from a Facebook group I'm also in for town cars is that they someone said they never saw a Lincoln Town Car extended wheelbase with a sunroof like this one. So it all works. And the sunroof right now is not working. It, uh, apparently the tr track broke and I have been having some issues with it. I've been thinking about getting it uninstalled and then sealing it completely only because sunroofs are just a pain as they age, you can get a new one and within two years it'll be leaking again. But it's a thought, I might just have it completely restored or I might just get it torn out and then a, a new vinyl top put on. Man, I love the steering wheel. I'm gonna see if I can find one with this wood grain for my car. I love the wood grain. That was, that was definitely a plus. I, was, cause I saw some Lincolns that completely got rid of their wood grain steering wheel, but uh, I'm happy this one still has it. Oh man, look at this. Look at this huge door. So how long, how much longer is this than a normal town car? They say it's a six inch extended wheelbase. Uh, hence why this back window is extra long. The door actually opens almost a full 90 degrees for larger passengers to get in and out. It makes it more easily accessible. Look at this, 90 degrees. Woo! That's cool. What do we got here on the windows? So these are curtains more or less like i said more for show but they do actually extend all you got to do is take the velcro off alter a little hook you want some privacy you got privacy whether you go to the airport to the restaurant which is funny because i'll be driving my sister to her to the airport tomorrow morning <laughs> nice <laughs> you gotta take full advantage huh oh man more cubbies Look at this, you got heated back seats, little cubby with the, the cigarette lighter. More here, what is this little thing here? You all right there? <laughs> I'm trying. You're getting emotional talking about your car? This is such a beautiful car. <laughs> it's <a> beautiful curtains. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so at night when the door opens, you can't see it during the day, it's not as strong. It shines the Lincoln emblem on the ground, so it's a projector door light. I have ones that are actually able to be wired into the car completely. These are battery powered, but uh, I have to get the ones that are sitting in my drawer at home installed soon because I'd rather have those in the battery operated ones. Okay, look at this back. Look at the leg room in this thing. Okay, more pillows. As if 
these seats are not comfortable enough. I'm gonna sit right here. Okay. Check out this Lego. I mean, this is amazing. Okay, I'm all about the little things in the hard little details. So we got another cubby here. The fun fact about that little cubby right there is on the side, on both sides actually, there's charging port for laptops. So, like I said, this car was used to, as a limousine pretty much its whole life. So if they were transporting someone, more of an executive or whoever, and they had to work on their laptop, they can plug it into the console and the wire would want, run through a little uh, tunnel on the side of the console right there. So they can close it and still use it as an armrest. And they can work on their laptop as they're driving to wherever they gotta go. When the car is running, that button works. When the car is off, it doesn't. But when it's running, that works to uh, push the passenger seat forward if the person on that side needs more leg room. Oh, wow. Let me put the keys in so you can see that. <coughs> okay, now it says the car has started. The seat went up even more. Okay, so this button right here. Get this you can sleep in here if you wanted to. Look, I'm pushing this button. I've actually taken naps in the back of this car when I'm at work, working my 10 hour shifts on my brakes. Okay, so we got all the controls to the temperature, fan, radio. Yep, yeah, pretty much the backseat passengers can control the whole everything the driver can with some exceptions, but music, radio. Uh, temperature, the fan speed, all that. And more cup holders. And more cup holders. Man, this leather feels good. Do you do anything to it? I just keep it polished. Polished, positioned. Yeah, there's definitely <clears throat> there's definitely a lot of little nicks and tricks in the back of this car and little trash cans I put it on both sides that's what do just open there little trash cans and there yeah they're also lit up at night too What do you say, Matt? Give us a ride around the block? Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, we're gonna get in the car. So I'm gonna pretend I'm an executive today and uh, Matt's just gonna give us a ride in the back. And, oh, thank you, sir. Drive us and talk to him. It's a little cold, I'm gonna put the heat on a little bit. Yeah, so pretty much everything in this car works, you said, except for like the leaking sunroof or something? Yeah, the sunroof gives me issues. That's pretty much the only thing in the car that is a little frustrating right now because I like to have my car 100% up and running. Uh, I utilize pretty much everything. Everything is 100% functional as far as I'm aware. All the cigarette lighters work. There's at least four, three of them. There's two back there, one up here for me. Uh, that's where I plug in my Bluetooth if I want to listen to music on the way to work or whenever I'm driving pretty much. That's what this is for. This holds my phone right here. And the brass color I think really, <laughs> really goes well with the black interior. That's why I chose it. Special touch. Oh, for sure. Man, back here is just amazing. And I know the people watching can't tell, but I'm sure you can tell just how smooth the ride is in the back of the car. Oh yeah, the people that have these cars, whether it's a Mercury or a, a Lincoln Town car, or even some of the Crown Victorias like the Lex or the. Uh, the, uh, not the cop version ones, not the P71s, really, but this one with the long
long wheelbase and the air suspension. Man. This is definitely why I wanted this uh, this specific town car with the extended wheelbase. I love these things. Definitely driving a boat. Have you had any major uh, breakdowns on this with the high mileage? The only major breakdown I had was when the spark plugs decided to pop on me on the way home from uh, South Jersey once. Had to get that fixed. But other than that, the car has never never given, given out on me. It's run strong ever since I bought it. 380,000 miles on this car and you can't even feel or hear anything creaking or breaking. A lot of people are shocked when I tell them just how many miles are on it. My parents are concerned, or at least my mom is. She's like, aren't you worried about such a high mileage car? I said, no, cars like to be driven. That's right. The more you drive it, the better it'll serve you. Man, the space back here and the comfortable seats really, really give this car that extra special character or, I don't even know, class? Oh, for sure. Definitely classy. I mean, look at this. Definitely yeah. makes you feel like you're an executive. Yes, sir. I have, uh, like I said, my friends love riding in the back of it. I have one friend who's infamous for falling asleep back there. <laughs> Whether it's a 20-minute drive or a 10-minute drive, he'll find a way to take a nap. I'm going to put my uh, seat warmers on. Enjoy the ride. Now, if I have to go to the airport, Matt, or if anybody wants to, uh, in that case, get a ride to the airport or whatever, are you open for business? Oh, yeah. I could, I could always use a side job. You heard it here. I'll leave Matt's information. Yeah. <laughs> if you really want to ride around the town in the Lincoln Town Car, maybe he can hook you up. Like I said, I'm driving my sister and her friend at the airport tomorrow morning, so. And that's not, that's an unpaid job. Yeah, that's a favor for family. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like this, these formats, just everything about these little additions that Matt did here is uh, amazing. And of course, I still have some projects that are ongoing that I'd like to do. But for the most part, I'd say right now I'm pretty content with where we're at. What's the longest you've taken a uh, road trip in this car? I have gone, I've taken this car all the way to South Carolina and back. South Carolina, it's about a, what, 10 hour drive? Roughly, 10 to 11, depending on which way you take. How many miles per gallon were you getting on the freeway? Oh, I think I got up to like 20, 24. <laughs> Well, right now your thing is showing 18.8, and that's around town. That's really good, actually. Yeah, it, it'll last. I uh, I work about 20 to 30 minutes away from home, and I draw. I work four days a week. I can pretty much stress a tank of gas. You know, if I work every every day, it'll get me about a week and a half work till I have to refill it. Now, how many times have you been back here and somebody else driven you? No one's ever driven me. <laughs> What? I've sat back there on my own before, <laughs> but I've never been back there and driven around. I've thought about it. I don't know if I trust too many people, though. Yeah. All right, Matt. When you need to go somewhere, I will take you in your own car. Sounds so you good. Can experience the heated seats and the joys of feeling like an executive. You're the one. Per you're one of the people I would trust because you drive <laughs> another Panther uh, platform car, so you know how to handle these things. Now, do you take this out in the snow? Yes, like I said, it's my only car, mm. but it performs pretty well in the snow too, so I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, it's got the long wheelbase and it's heavy, so if you really know, just take it easy, you can definitely plow oh, some yeah. snow. Oh yeah. That concludes our driving. We're going to get back to the parking lot. We'll just do a real quick another walk around. I'm glad the clouds came in to cover up some of that harsh sun that we had. <laughs> Anything else you want the viewers to know, Matt? Anything about the car? Anything that you... Um, I'll leave the headlights on this time so you oh, can see right. what they look like on the outside. But other than that, you've pretty much seen everything this car has to offer right now. Solid. Alright, let's see those uh, headlights. Oh, yeah. I like that. I think it gives a little bit of a 
more intimidating look to the car. Definitely adds to the chrome and just to the nice touch to the this American flags just always make American cars look that much more. Oh yeah, definitely American. proclaim where they're from. Amazing. True American classic land yachts. Well folks, there you have it. Here's Matthews 2008. Eight. Lincoln Tower Town Car sig Executive L Signature Signature what Executive looks the same <laughs> Yeah It sure feel like an executive in it But we're not gonna We're not gonna edit much It's gonna be just as is raw Straight from the man's mouth On this car Thank you Matt No problem Thank you ride. Thank you for the car Appreciate your uh, time